Hey, welcome to this video. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about what's called duty cycle, a little bit of pulse width modulation and frequency. So these, you may or may not have heard of these terms. And basically, we've been talking about inputs and outputs, uh, two wire sensors, three wire sensor inputs, and a little bit about outputs like transistors and how they control high side, low side drivers and volt dropping um, to diagnose that. Remember we talked about high side driver being like a some load to ground and a low side driver being like a switch to ground and you would diagnose them accordingly. So we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, output as far as what duty cycle is. Uh, but in order to talk about duty cycle, I'm gonna talk about why we use it and also frequency and what frequency is. So the reason why we are worried about duty cycle, which is basically defined as percentage of on time in a given frequency or given duration. The reason why we care about duty cycle is because certain items like an LED light, you can't dim. So if I, it's either on or off because of the diode, it's a check valve, it's either on or off. Um, or a computer, let's say it, it can't vary, it's not a vary act, you can't control a variable voltage to a motor to make it run slower or faster. Like uh, think about a radiator fan motor. So if we want to run it at maybe 50% speed, we run, uh, instead of running 12 volts, we run six volts. Well, the computer can't just, you know, it, it's not designed easily to be able to output six volts to that fan. So what we would do is control the duty cycle, which is going to simulate six volts, making the fan run slower. Or like, you know, like an LED, you can't, an LED is either on or off, like LED lighting in your dash. It's either on or off. If I want to run dimmer, I can't just turn the voltage down. The computer is not designed that way. So we do what's called duty cycle to make it appear dimmer. And basically the best way to explain that is like fluorescent lighting in your house, uh, the, the plug in at the wall, you know, it's 110 volts at 60 Hertz. So the Hertz is the frequency. That's how many cycles per second, right? So we'll back off duty cycle for a second to talk about frequency. So if I give a graph of voltage over time and I'm gonna run, let's do it this way actually. I'm gonna run, we'll go negative. If I have voltage, and this is over time, this is zero volts. So right here, we have voltage. Right here, we have time, all right? So if I run a cycle, whoops, I got a little, little backwards on my, my um, signal. If I run a signal like this, let's see, it click, climbs up, goes down, climbs up, goes down, climbs up, goes down like that. Okay, so basically a cycle, is basically starting to pick a point, like right here, say zero, it goes up, goes down, it goes back to right here. So from here to here is a cycle. Okay, how many cycles in a second? That's hertz. That's known as frequency. Okay, so how many cycles per second is frequency and we label it in hertz. So if you have 60 hertz, it's 60 cycles per second. Now the height of this here to here, this is amplitude, how much voltage difference you have from positive to negative, okay? Not gonna get into that too much, but I want you to understand what a cycle is, okay? Beginning to end. A cycle can be here to here, here to here, here to here. It's basically that same point again and how long it takes to get to that point. So that's a cycle and that's how like your house lights work, like a fluorescent lighting. It's cycling at 60 Hertz um, a second and we can't see that. Our brains, our eyes can't see that. But really, if you were to film it and look at it in slow motion, it's pulsing and going really, really fast. So that's kind of the, 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 the crux of how this works. So let's, let's get rid of frequency here for a second and amplitude. And let's talk about what we're here to talk about and that's duty cycle. So if I take that zero volts and we'll keep it positive and I run a voltage over time and let's say this is five volts and this is zero volts, okay? This is voltage, right? And then this is time. Let's say, let's go with 20 milliseconds, okay? So we have 20 milliseconds on this graph. If I were to take a duty cycle, and let's say it's zero, so right here, about, right here is about halfway through. So if I go here, and then right about at, 50, at uh, what is it, five milliseconds, I turn it on, turn on to five volts, and it comes off like that, and I go again, and I go on, and I go off like that. Okay, so you see what happened? I have 20 milliseconds, but if you look at one cycle, the cycle would be here to here. Okay, that's one cycle. So this is a two cycle um, kind of graph right here. 
And if you look at what's on, how long is on compared to off? Well, I try to get it right down the middle, like that. So if you look at off versus on versus off versus on, you would assume or you would agree with me that this is on 50% of the time. And it's off 50% of the time. Okay, so this would be a 50% duty cycle. Now again, I'm over 20 milliseconds for the total duration, 10 milliseconds being halfway through. That's one cycle. The reason why I did two cycles is you can see it repeat. So if I have, let's say the cycle happens every 10 milliseconds, that's the frequency. Okay, the amplitude is five volts. That's the strength of the signal. 10 milliseconds is the frequency or the hertz. And then, but the percentage of on time versus off time is split at 50-50. So I'm gonna have 50% duty cycle. And I'm gonna have 50% of five volts and so what it'll end up with is the equivalent of 2.5 volts. This is how the computer is going to achieve with transistors on and off or switches, and they cycle really, really fast, how it can achieve an output of 2.5 volts. What this will do is it'll, the LED's off, the LED's on, the LED's off, the LED's on. Our eyes can't see that, our brain can't understand that. It's just gonna see the LED in a dimmer state. Now, if I want the LED to be even dimmer, I'm gonna turn this duty cycle uh, even lower. So let's, let's do it this way. Now, we'll do another example. So let's, done, let's use our graph here again, and we're going to run it on for 25% and then off for 75%. On for 25%, off for 75%. So if you look, if I had to repeat this over again, these are the frequencies or cycles per second in Hertz. The five volt is the amplitude. This is 25, this is 75, 25, 75. So 25% on, 75% off. So what this is going to give us equivalent of is 25, uh, five times 0.25, and it's going to give us uh, what's a quarter of five volts? 1.25, right? Maybe a quarter of it. So we have 1.25 volts is going to be kind of the output, the, the average or simulated output of this. Is that less than 2.5 that we had before? Yeah. So this duty cycle, 25%, is going to be half of what we had before, resulting in an even dimmer light. I can change this by changing the on time. Now let's go 75 on and then 25 off. And so you see what happens. So I get rid of all this, and now we have the opposite. Now we have 75 on, 25 off, and again, 75 of this. So if we have uh, 75 of five volts, 1.25 was 25, so we're gonna have 3.75, 3.75, .75 volts is what our simulated output voltage is going to be. So how do we measure this? Well, you measure it like you measure voltage, but you would use a DMM. And if you can see here, if I turn this on, you see right here I have the reading hertz and percentage. I turn it to that, and that's going to measure frequency in hertz. If I push this button again to move it over, I measure percentage. So you see the percent there? And that's going to tell me a percentage. So I can go across the power and ground of whatever output I'm trying to figure out if it's working, like a radiator fan cooling motor or an LED in an instrument cluster. And I can actually measure the percentage of on time and off time to the output of that computer. And so again, this is going to help me understand and diagnose if like a dimming switch on the dash is working or uh, an output to a fan motor of some sort. So that's basically frequency. Again, how many cycles per second? Uh, amplitude is how strong the signal is. The duty cycle is percentage of on time to off time within that cycle. Um, and then basically pulse width modulation is using this, all of that together to control an output. So if you've heard of those terms, uh, frequency, which is Hertz, amplitude, duty cycle, pulse width modulation, this is basically what they're talking about. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you out when you're diagnosing stuff in your car. And again, this can be applied to many different components. Um, but that's kind of the overview. Okay. Thanks for watching.